Hey y'all, welcome back to Fugit's Blitz. That's my piss poor attempt at an American accent. I'm so sorry about that. Today we're going to look at the Howcat, the American Tier 6 tank destroyer. Andre, Andre, Arriba, Arriba, yeah, Speedy Gonzalez, here we come. This is basically a request from lots of people. I did a poll on the community tab and some people have asked me on Discord. So I finally got around to looking at this little beastie and there it is. And boy, does it look sexy. It does really. It's a great little tank. It looks mean, it looks impressive. But what about its stats? Well, damage, you're gonna knock out 225 on average. Rate of fire is pretty low, 8.4 rounds a minute penetration is not too bad 160 armor <laughs> what armor speed arriba arriba andale andale well there you go and rotation is not too bad either <sighs> looking at the main stats hit points what hit points you've got 800 armor what armor you don't have any you're paper thin simple fact of life deal with it view range not too bad 266 camo value above well above average i mean well in stationary you got 62 percent which is pretty pretty good indeed and 47 percent when you're moving i mean that is pretty big dpm wise not great 1886 per minute reload time just over seven seconds which is not bad average pen well when you're looking at your ap you're going to be churning out about 160 which is going to be your average on your APCR 243 on your HE45. Not bad pen values, realistically. What about your damage? AP, you're going to churn out about 225. APCR 190, HE 270. This is with the big gun loaded. Aim time, just over two and a half seconds. Dispersion at 100 meters, well, it's 0 0.317, which realistically isn't that bad. Gun elevation, 20 degrees, pretty, pretty nice. And depression, 10 degrees, which is super duper fantastic. Let's be honest with you. But the thing that makes this tank, because it has no armor, is its speed. I mean, it really is a little speedy Gonzales. Top speed going forward, you're gonna churn out about 65 kilometers an hour, backwards about 15, with an average speed of just shy of 40. And as you can see, the weight and the power ratios are, you know, not bad because it's a really really light weight tank which means it puts a lot of power straight down and you can zip off tourist turret traverse however tends to be a tad slow that's one of the only criticisms that i have about this tank other than that it's not bad let's have a look at this armor or oh, what armor i hear you say oh there isn't any look it's pretty pretty poor that's because it's built for speed and it's built for accuracy and it's built for sniping. It is a true tank destroyer on a light medium hull. Yes, I do actually like this tank, although it is a pretty tricky beast. It has got the worst HP of all the TDs in its tier. It's got the second worst DPM. It's got pretty poor pen, pretty, it's got average damage and average velocity and, and the second worst penetration loss over distance. Rate of fire is almost one of the worst, same as the reload time. Thing is, the base aim time is the best. The dispersion is not too bad. And, you know, the gun angles, the elevation and the depression are some of the best in, the, in, in its tier. The same with the aim and arc. Turret traverse speed, I did say it's pretty poor, and it is one of the worst for its tier against all TDs. Speed-wise, it's the best. It is the fastest TD in tier 6. Same with the camo values. It's got some of the best camo values at tier 6. So it's got a lot of things going for it, and it's got a lot of things that make it vulnerable. And as I say in all my videos, you have got to understand why it has those vulnerabilities. And the vulnerabilities this tank has is that armor. I mean, that is the biggest vulnerability it has. And it has that vulnerability because it's designed to be not strictly, it's like a sniper. You, you, you find a good position, you use that gun not too far away because the dispersion is pretty crap. And then you relocate and you use that speed and that camo concealment to get you to where you need to be next. You start brawling in this thing 
and, and you're going to get hurt. I mean, I've been hurt here. I've done 1,596 damage. I've got only 500 hit points left. Sorry, only 300 hit points left. I'm not going to last this game. There are two heavy tanks. Sorry, yeah, there are two big heavy tanks still left. They're going to hurt me if they've got any uh, any any HP on them because I just don't turn out the damage and the DPM necessary to present a th threat to them. I've asked for assistance from my teammates. Uh, they seem to be struggling though. So I'm knocking 213 out there into that VK, but he's looking very healthy. I I'm not going to win that battle with him. It's a simple fact. There's nothing I can do. There's no point me trying to side scrape. There's no point me trying to angle. There's no point me wiggling and jiggling. Best I can do here is whittle down his hit points and hope to win that way. Unfortunately, however, the team let me down. Not the flat panzer. He plays a good game. The firefly, who's on full health. We uh, we lose this game because the firefly. Simple fact. This is. Um, <laughs> it's Ian Wan of the Clan 60 now. He's raw. He's from the NA server, and he sent me a, quite a few replays of him going out in his Hellcat. And I'm going to use a couple of them, but I'm not going to show all of them apart from one. I just want to show you why this tank is so good in certain respects. This is a perfect position for a Hellcat. He's hauled down. He's got great vision onto that VK. He's able to dispatch it. Same with the Jackson. He's hauled down. He's got great vision. He can use that gun depression. He can use that this positioning, and he can really give these tanks a hard time. And this is what you've got to look for when driving a Howcat. You've got to look for these haul down positions where you're not too far away, but you're not too close, where you can use the gun and you can use the mobility and the gun depression to its maximum effect. Anything other than that, guys, you're going to get punished. There really is no armor on this thing. A WoW-directed HE round will really hurt you a lot. You play it like this, however, and boy, it is a fantastically fun tank. I mean, in this position, he was two on, two on one, and he destroys both of them and wins the game. Which is fantastic, and as you can see... You know, he's losing his hit points slowly, slowly. He needs to out DPM the Jackson if he can. It's not going to be easy. Oh, the Jackson seems to have gone AFK. He gets the win. 2,925 damage. He bounces 225. How? I don't know. And he gets a well deserved mastery for his troubles. The thing about the Hauker, as I said, you've got to understand the tank and its parameters. Like I say with all tanks, and you've got to understand that you're very vulnerable, guys. I mean, you will fold like a deck chair in a high wind if you stick it in the wrong place. Because, as I say, a very well-placed HE is going to really hurt you. But when you're up against... You see, even the Crusade... The Crusader's smacked him side on and he's, he's just hurt him. But he's going to dispatch the Crusader pretty easily. By the way, this is Ian again um, on the North American server in his Howcat, because I forgot. Now, one of the things I like about the Howcat is it combines speed and accuracy. And it's got, it does have quite a nice gun. Okay, the dispersion is pretty poor for a TD. But when you're in a position like this, boy, you can really pile on the pain. He is protecting himself, he is hauled down, he is far enough away to, to do this. And, you know, once you've got to grips with this little beastie of a tank, it will put a smile on your face. It will frustrate you, however, because there will be sometimes you go the wrong way and, you know, if you get focused by more than one tank, oof, you're back in the garage quicker than you ever anticipated. And that's the thing. It's very much like the Jackson in that respect. It's got pants armor, and you need to live with that. You need to understand that. But unlike the Jackson, it does have fantastic mobility. I mean, this thing is a little bundle of engine with a little bit of paper wrapped around it and a fantastic gun shoved on the top. And that's why I love it. And that's why quite a few people love it, because... 
you can throw this thing around you can relocate quickly you can use those camo values which you know 47 percent on the move is pretty good i mean that's above average and you know with your 60 odd percent concealment when you're stationary it's really tricky for people to spot you and this is what people don't understand about the hellcat it's got great camo it's got great mobility and it's got a good gun use those attributes to their maximum effect exactly like ian wan is doing here i mean he has been in a great position all this game okay he's lost a little bit of health nothing to write home about not when you're in a Hellcat. And now he's able to push through and tie. Oh my god, two bounces in a Hellcat. How on earth? <laughs> That's just fantastic. And now he's able to go in and basically clean up. In that little move, however, he's lost a lot of HP. And this is the danger. But he's now taken six kills. I mean, he has done 2,756 damage. He's lost over half his health. But boy has he been an effective tank in this game all because he had the right positioning all because he knew what this tank could do and he pushed when he needed to push and that's the trick with tanks like the Hellcat you need to push when you know you can push if he would have pushed any sooner he would have been wasted simple fact it was fantastic gameplay and goes to show that he really does understand how to play this tank unfortunately somebody comes in and steals this kill from him this would have been a fantastic and utterly well deserved raz but as you can see they're not going to let him have it he's waiting for the panzer 4g to smack him so he can get his raz he's he's waiting and waiting hopefully yeah, he's telling them let me have the kv1s what's going to happen who's going to shoot him Oh, it's just disgraceful what happens next. I, I can't watch. I, I just can't watch. It's just not fair. What? Look! Unbelievable! The SU-100 kill steals his Raz. What a complete and utter beastard. However, 3,168 damage. A wow deserved mastery. That should have been a Raz. I'm it's disgusting that somebody would steal that kill but it was a well deserved pools medal i mean you don't get to play the howlcat much better than that and if the guy in the su 100 y is watching god mate you should have let him have the kill i mean that was just unbelievable this is the last game and it's a really good friend of mine every good name is taken from the clan genesis now a couple of things before i go into this firstly every good name is taken has got his own YT channel. The link is above in the top right hand corner. Go and check him out guys. He's a fantastic chap. Um, that's my volume by the way. He's a fantastic chap and he really churns out some really fantastic content. Here he is rolling out on Rockfield in his little Hellcat on the EU server and every good name is taken absolutely loves this tank by the way and i've had this replay for a while and i keep promising that i'm going to put it as part of the howcat review because it doesn't deserve to be sat just on its own and i love the way that he plays this game kind of tentative but aggressive which is an oxymoron isn't it it's like jumbo shrimp or deafening silence and but this is the thing he gets himself into a good position yet again he uses his mobility and his gun to the to, to the way it's meant to be done i mean oh and what a bounce that is it's just fantastic i think he fired he and he just hit his tracks um and again like you saw with ian wan he's going to push when he needs to push and this is the key to playing a howcat guys you've got to be nurturing you've got to sort of give it little bits of encouragement you've got to protect it you've got to keep it away from the big big guns you've got to gently pour your way into the game because if you don't you get hurt simple as that and as you can see here with every good name is taken he's like tentatively pouring his way but he's being aggressive at the same time it's, it's just a fantastic run he's already taken a kill he's already done 1563 damage he's now pushed on the mt25 when he needed to push on the mt25 he's got kill number two 
They are not looking in a good position, however. I mean, it's now five against three. And he's lost almost half of his hit points. And he's got some pretty formidable targets still out there, like that KV-1S. But he's now up to 2,300 odd damage. Um, the KV-1S is going to hurt him, but I, I don't know why he's not smacking him with, you know, AP. But he's not. I think that that's not a HE. That is, I think, APCR, which is why he's getting low rolls. I'm not sure. But it's now two on four. Okay, there's a lot of low hit points out there but there's a lot of formidable points out there p tanks out there as well ever is now down to next to nothing hit point wise he is a one shot to everybody it's now three against him if you would have asked me to put money on this i would have said game over every good name is taken is not going to pull this back simple fact of life he has got next to nothing hit points you only have to blow in his general direction a kv1s is going to go goodbye Ooh, if maybe he can turn it. There is still a Star Chaser and there is still a Flat Panzer out there. The Flat Panzer I haven't seen all game, so I don't know what his health situation is, um, apart from the fact when every smacked him at the beginning of the game. So he may be on a full hit pool. The Star Chaser, unfortunately, boom. I mean, this is where you start using those camo values and that view range to its effect and that gun and that mobility. The Flat Panzer has now made a bit of a mistake. He's decided to go to the base. That is out. Every good name is taken significantly. He now knows he doesn't need to run around the map looking for him and get ambushed. Because he can now ambush the Flat Panzer. So, Mr. Flat Panzer, if you're watching this review, mate, you really shouldn't have gone to the base. You have just given your hand away and effectively put a big red flag on the top of your tank and said, come and hurt me. And this is what every good name is taken is going to do. Hello, Flatty. Boom! Straight up the backside. Flatty is now a one shot. And every good name is taken is going to use the mobility, use that gun depression, use everything this tank has to offer to try and get rid of this little Flatty. He's done over 3,000 damage, he's taken four kills, and he's going to move out of dodge because he's going to relocate. He's going to reset his camo value. And he's got great camo, as we know. The flatty has finally moved off the base. Because now he's going to try and chase every big mistake. Side on. Boom! What a comeback. 3,575 damage. Five kills. That is a truly fantastic turnaround. And a wow deserved mastery. A fantastic Kolobanov. And just overall a fantastic game. That has been the Howcat. Andale, Andale, Arriba, Arriba, Speedy Gonzalez. It's a great little tank, a beautiful American Tier 6 TD. I've been Fujit. Big thanks to Ian Wan um, from the North American server of the Clan 19 now, and my good friend, every good name is taken of Genesis from the EU server. Guys, by all means, comment, like, and everything below. If you haven't yet, press that subscribe button it's a nice thing to do and you get to see more of these if you've got any decent replays send them to me fujitsblitz at gmail.com you can even follow me on facebook and twitter and join my discord server you can upload your videos much easier that way until the next time i will say my usual stuff stay safe out there have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because you know what that's what it's all about having fun and being happy